da Om Shanti, peace to you, peace to me. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Peter and thank you for joining me. I want to talk about finding the keys to success in you. Finding the keys. Where's that key gone? Where's it gone? Where's the key gone? <laughs> Intention and focus are the keys to success. Intention and focus. So you really need to find out what you want to do is finding the passion. What's, what, what are you passionate about? Some people are passionate about cooking. I love cooking personally. I remember when I became a vegan and I had to really learn how to make food tasty. I was a great cook as a vegetarian, but most of the dishes were cheese, all the outstanding dishes, macaroni cheese, Mexican macaroni cheese. We make pizza from fresh sourdough. Some people like it more crispy, but we have sourdough. Uh, basis to our pizzas and making all sorts of different variants on food and just replacing certain elements that would have been meat or cheese with other elements and you've got amazing food and we're supposed to eat a very varied varied diet as well and I've learned how to do that so that was my intention and focus how to do that so really it's finding what you're passionate about what are you passionate about I was very passionate about music when I was younger. It, nothing else made sense to me. You could, you could sit there, you play guitar, everything felt great. I felt wonderful playing the bass guitar with other people, my friends. I felt great, wonderful. I thought, oh, I want to do this for a living. And that was my intention. So I found the intention very early. And my focus then had to be, how do I do this? So I went to many different mentors. I went to bass college, bass tech, Rob Burns. said, well, you're, you're good at this, you can do this. And therefore, I worked at it and I became good and I, was, I did certain gigs which would highlight my talents. And then I would start to get recommendations as, as a session musician. I'd get into bands, making money. It was all turning over very, very nicely. It was my focus. I was 100% focused on that. And it was detrimental to my life at that time. I missed family weddings. I missed friends' weddings. I lost contact with old friends. Because I was so focused on becoming a music a musician I was never there so that was the focus which gave me the drive to get on with what I was supposed to be getting on with which was becoming a musician but it started off with the intent my intention to do that recently more recently in my life I went to body and brain and I've trained with them for many many years now five six seven years and I've been on the career meditation tour and I was asked to go and train with the elderly uh, to train them in a, in a community centre near me. And then that really opened my eyes because it was became very successful very quickly and it, I, I kind of jumped into it like a duck out of water. So my intention actually wasn't that, wasn't to become a Qigong instructor. My intention was to help people and I fell into this, which then my focus had to turn into doing this and learn as much about Qigong and the Tao philosophy, which is what this Korean type of Qigong that we teach is the Tao philosophy behind it so that each time that you take a class you can actually give words of wisdom that help relieve the stress of today's everyday life. So there were my changes and now I am changing again. I've had to learn how to sing and that was a few years ago now and I want to write another album called Singing the Tao. So bringing my music talents together with my Qigong learning my focus will be on that in, in a few months' time once I get other things successful like Bright Things. We just, uh, Bright Things, our company, has just won a SME award for best health and well-being service in the Surrey area. And we're actually up for the award for the South. Whether we'll get that, I'm not sure. It's quite a big area that they're covering. But for the Surrey area, that's quite an incredible achievement. And we did it. And part of that was the Qigong and the meditation, sound healing, Reiki that we offer. So the world is changing and our intentions were to go out there and help people. So our focus becomes on serving other people and it's not how much money that we get in, it's how many people that we can actually serve is really the raison d'etre. <laughs> really what the company is all about. It's not about making millions and billions and trillions so that you can just go and swan around in a nice car and a nice house. We, we've got cars and we've got a nice house Got a beautiful garden that we worked on as well so we don't really need too much we just need to help other people and then once you start to serve other people the more 
people that you serve, the more actual money will come back in. So money becomes a byproduct of it and will help you to even lift your vibration and your services up even more. So that's finding the success in you. So you're finding the success in you by, by finding what you're passionate about and then intending to do that and then focusing on that. Focusing on that by finding what you need to do to get where you need to be. And then another important aspect of that, it's all the same, is raising your vibration. It's always about raising your vibration, getting your vibration to the point where you will become that human being that does what you want to do, be it an artist, painter, musician, successful business guru, whatever you want to do. That's it, is raising your vibration, becoming that energy. There's so much help, so much help needed on the planet at the moment. And when we all start to move in that direction, where we start to serve other people, it will be amazing. And that's starting to happen. There's a few selfish people out there who will cut you off. Their YouTube channels, they'll cut you off if you don't fit into their little niche and their little clique. Not right. That's not right as far as I'm concerned. And I'll speak out against that always. Always speak out against that because if you cut people out of your niche and you become a clique, that's not being open and honest and, and, and fulfilling your true purpose. That's becoming you, your ego. That's your ego being stuck in there. So your intention and your focus needs to be for other people. So you serve other people. That's what I, I was led to believe that the American society was about before it got taken over and destroyed, was it wasn't about the expense of the product for the, your maximum product it was for the amount of people that you could get it out to with minimum profit because then you're, you're actually getting it out to millions of people and therefore you will be making millions anyway rather than billions millions so how much money do you need anyway <laughs> how much money do you need it's ridiculous if you start talking about billions millions whoa that's, that's a lot of money um, not not today in the fiat, fiat currency world where they create money out of thin air and they pumped it all around the world and it's just everywhere. No, we're talking about energy, money is an energy, so you get the energy back that you put into this world. So putting in good energy is, is so important. So finding the keys to success in you is all about finding your passion. What do you like? So you can get up in the morning and you can go and do it and it won't feel like a day's work. You wanna do it and do it and do it and do it and do it, do it, do it, keep going, keep going, keep going, and there you are. You're doing something you're passionate about, but it can't be something that's just self-indulged. Something you can serve other people with. And that is so important. So your intention and focus is what, where it's at. Your, that's your key to success. And may you be very successful. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. So, Rang Hamida.